Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today I'm going to share with you my best practices when using If Collide in Buildbox 3. Because if you have an enemy object and your character has an If Collide with enemy, and those things keep colliding and you don't know why it's not working, it's Buildbox. Watch this video and then you won't have to worry about that. Now before I begin, if you like watching the game dev process happen and learning more about tips and tricks on Buildbox, be sure to like and subscribe. I literally had a character running into an enemy object and the character wasn't dying. I find it funny because this to me is a major problem if your if collide statement isn't working with the character and enemy that seems like a problem to me by being more specific in the node system went ahead and figured it out myself here we have this ball which is called sphere pink physics collision group is set to enemy we look at the object itself it has physics the type is set to dynamic and when you set the type to dynamic you want to be sure you want to do that as opposed to kinematic or static which substantially helps on processing power. As you can see, this level only has like five balls, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna show you where Buildbox doesn't do what it's supposed to. Let's get the character and go into this level. My character just hit the ball. That shouldn't be happening. It's like it works sometimes, and other times it doesn't work. It didn't work there. It didn't work there. It didn't work there. Didn't work there. Didn't work there. This was really frustrating for me, but the solution was so easy I'm no longer frustrated. The sphere is set to collision group enemy, and in the character I have if collide with enemy defeat explode game over now this isn't working so what i did is i'm literally just gonna make an if collide with every specific enemy object here we have the sphere pink go which is on another level and here we have sphere pink physics which is on the current level so let's just go ahead and attach these two and you want to try to keep all your if collides depending on your game type within the character assets it's totally possible to have it here in the sphere physics node into a different object by keeping them all in one place will just help with organization how the node system is built out in buildbox is really cool but at the same time can quickly get confusing it's important to stay organized and if you think there's better ways leave comments below and let me know just by adding this let's go back to the level and we can see how every time the character touches there's no more issues going on here i could get into more specifics of why it wasn't working properly but the fact is is it's working properly now so why it wasn't working doesn't really even matter now the last thing you want to always be sure about in the if collide statement is this piece right here the collision shape here the collision shape is a cube because the character is a cube however if I decide later to change my character to a sphere or some kind of object that I created, I will need to change that. Take a look at the collision shape in the character right here by selecting this icon at the top right. We can see that the character has multiple if collides. This is a cube, a sphere. So if I wanted to make the collision shape bigger than the character or an object, this would be how I do it. If you're having trouble with the if collide and it's not working with the enemy, set it to that specific object itself. Seems kind of silly, but it works. If you've seen any bugs, or ways to fix bugs in Buildbox 3, please leave a comment. I'm always curious. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Peace.